Marquita Hudgens, and this is the Voice Behind the Voice podcast. We're on episode 42 of the communication series. This is part two. We are talking about communicating your expectations without being demanding. But first, I just want to let you know I have another podcast called The Prayer Di- Prayerful Dynamic, and it's on Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday on all, base- I'm going to say all um podcast outlets um i'm pretty sure whatever podcast outlet you enjoy listening to is on the list i'm sure um this is central standard time 7 p.m and if you want to follow the prayerful dynamic podcast you can follow us at dynamic com for kids two c's in there dynamic com for kids the com stands for children's outreach ministry that's where my heart is. Um, my heart is, I, I know that the children are, are our future. And my heart is equipping the children for the future to be our leaders. Um, that's that's it. <laughs> it's bigger than that, of course. But that's all I'm going to share here today. So um, with that being said, I do have a virtual Bible study coming up this summer. I am so used to doing vacation Bible school that it's like in my blood like it's running through my veins and nobody has to tell me to do it i don't pop up at the last minute and go oh yeah vbs you know what i mean uh it's something that i think about all year how is vbs going to be better next year i mean all year i mean there have been years where i have given proposals to multiple people like doing a whole proposal of how vbs can be next year and giving it out to people and they were like oh that's a lot oh it's too early and I'm I'm at a point now where I'm like, look, it might be too early for you. It might be a lot for you, but this is what God is telling me me to do. So for those of you who feel it, um, and you you want to vibe with it, go ahead and make a video that is beneficial to ages five through twelve. Um, it has to be like a ten minute video. Put it on YouTube. You can make it public or unlisted. Unlisted means that you only uh, you share the link and only the people who click on the link can see your video so it's not like it's gonna pop up on somebody's um, YouTube feed it's just for people only who have the link okay um nobody can just go search it on YouTube it's you have to have the link it's special access so with that being said um with that being said, <laughs> I hope I don't just keep saying that this whole episode. Forgive me if you do. By the way, I am recording on my iPhone because I had some technical difficulties. So I know that there's a little bit of static. I'm sorry. Hopefully, as it upload when it uploads, the static is not there anymore. I don't know if they if they they're able to do that. But <laughs> but yeah. So VBS is fully online. So that's why you would have to submit a video. The video is going to be. Something like a nutritional video. You could share your uh, ingredients, um, you know, and directions on how to make your favorite uh, healthy snack. You can um, give instructions on like a craft that would be useful, like for gardening or um, or some gardening tips or some physical fitness tips. Um, some financial literacy tips, anything like that, anything that you can, that, that sewing, something that would give them hope for the future, that they can make their own clothes, that they can, they can plant their own garden, that they can be a millionaire by the time they hit 18. They're a billionaire, okay? There's a billionaire who is under the age of 20, this year 2021 or is he 20 he's either 20 or he's like 18 or 19 but he's a billionaire okay because he built the little system for the smart car listen your child your baby your five-year-old my five-year-old can and deserves to be a billionaire and it's really not about the money it's about the freedom the freedom to do the freedom to go the freedom to touch whoever's lives they that God is leading them to touch. You know what I mean? So 
um, go ahead and go to any page on www.mhudgens.me. Any of these profiles that I have running around, you click the link in the bio and it will say submit to VBS or you can click the VBS button to register your child ages 5 to 12 for this two week Monday through Friday Bible study July 12th through the 23rd all right so um so check that out I'm not giving you a time because once you register for it like you're always gonna have it because it's gonna be sent to your email so you're always going to have it all right um um, let me see anything else yeah so that's it for that and back to the voice behind the voice um, so communication communication um, as we've talked about before is not just it's not like hinting around or leaving little notes um, it's it's successfully getting your point across so it's not like I think there's no I think there's no maybe there's no could have been like you communicated means you successfully got your point across you successfully um, communicated your expectations you you successfully expressed your expectations so It's hard because um, I may be, I could be just giving you like free um, like narcissism tips, like um, <laughs> how to deal with people who are narcissistic with this whole limitations without weakness, expectations without demanding, beliefs without uh, judgment, like of course there are going to be people who are going to make you feel like you are bad for communicating your being communicating your limitations your expectations communicating your protocol you know people are going to make you feel bad and sometimes i feel like maybe all of those people are narcissists so beware watch out um it's a part of the game but if somebody is telling you that you are demanding um when you are expressing or communicating your expectations look listen to me you need to communicate them no matter what so no matter what someone might say about you or make you or try to make or how they try to make you feel about yourself just know that if you don't communicate your expectations no one else will so you need to have the courage just like um, a couple days ago we talked about having the vulnerability being able to be vulnerable to yourself enough to figure out what your limitations are you need to be courageous enough to figure out what your expectations are and then communicate them and like I just said if somebody has a problem with you communicating your expectations especially if they're like super realistic um, and it's it's where your heart is you know what I mean don't don't walk around telling everybody what your mama's expectations are don't walk around telling everybody what your daddy's expectations are and your first grade teacher's expectations were like your first boss's expectations were like no these are your expectations and like I said if no one if if you don't no one else will if you're not courageous enough to 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 just look inside of yourself and figure out what do I want out of this situation what do I want what do I not want what do I expect um, and I've said this before you these are these are things that you might have to get in writing just just looking at how there are people who will accuse you of being demanding for communicating your expectations lets you know that you might have to get a lot of stuff in writing when it comes to these people that you're dealing with um, but if you are not able to be courageous around yourself other people aren't going to be able to be courageous around you and if you can't be courageous towards yourself how can you be courageous towards other people so you might have to get in the mirror and practice saying look this is this is what I expect this is what my expectation is. and it's easy it's as e I'm, I'm saying it's hard because of depending on who you're dealing with it might be hard it might be easy um, but it's definitely easy to to figure it out what do you expect what do you want to happen now you could be like 
uh, it doesn't really matter. You know, it is what it is. What happens, happens. But then you get into the situation. And this is this is where experiencing, experiencing life comes in. Because um, when you're experiencing life, you're learning the expectations and learning the beliefs, learning the limitations. So you're experiencing life. You get into the situation and you're like, oh, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Right? So now you know, um, like let's, let's say you go to an amusement park and you think you're good. First time going to an amusement park. Everything's good. You get on the first ride, you throw up. Weren't expecting that. Get on the first ride, someone throws up on you. You weren't expecting that. So what are you going to do next time? Are you gonna are you are you now saying this is a limitation for me? I can't go on rides that do that and then do that and then go up and stop and then come back down real fast. Is that a limitation for you? Um, should you next time expect for things to go wrong and you might and and this time you prepare and you you pack uh, an extra change of clothes and then that's 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 when it's simple to communicate like hey y'all last time i went to a, an amusement park uh, i went to an amusement park five years ago with my family and somebody threw up all over me so just if you can bring a spare shirt or you know bring something um, or bring enough money to buy yourself a shirt at the amusement park you know if you have to so i feel like that is is easy and then but you will have people even in a group like that where you think it's cool and we're going to have fun, who's going to make you feel like you're demanding and you're taking over the whole thing and you just want to be the boss of everybody and why can't we just go and have fun without you, blah, blah, blah. I have been there, trust me, I've been there. Um, I'm, But I'm that person. I'm that person that brings a roll of toilet paper and a roll of paper towels to the beach. And I don't feel bad about it. So, um, but that's basically all I have for, for communicating your expectations without coming off as demanding. Um, you just, you know, you got to get out there and experience life and, and you got to take mental notes and you got to, you got to learn what your limitations and expectations are. Um, and you, you have to develop beliefs and, um, when you have those and you know, that come beliefs come with values and expectations come with boundaries and, um, limitations come with standards did I say that right expectations come with standards and limitations come with boundaries um so get courageous get bold enough to 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 say to yourself to come to terms with yourself and be like okay I'm never getting on that right again and then no matter how often People try to, you go and people just, oh, you're ruining the fun. You're this, you're that. I'm not getting on this ride. And that's it. You know what I mean? To communicate those limitations, communicate your expectations. Um, you know, I, this was, I had a bad experience. So now I'm going to, I'm going to be doing this. So you guys can expect for me to do this. Um, as I expect for me to do this. Um, and, and I expect for you guys to, you know, to be cool about it because this is how I roll. This is how I roll now. And it's okay to say, this is how it is now. Cause the first time you didn't know, you didn't know it was going to be like that. But anyways, I'm gonna let you go. All right. Um, I'm gonna let you let me go. <laughs> Put in the comments what movie that's from. Um, okay. So I will, um, be talking to you guys in a couple days all right thank you so much like subscribe oh i forgot to do my thing so um subscribe check out the voice behind the voice podcast and check out the prayerful dynamic podcast all right i'll see y'all later